Hi and welcome to another video. In this video I'm going to show you how to build an auto-seeking FM antenna. Now if you saw my previous aerial I had two bits of wire taped up to the wall. I found these in the cupboard. These are radio control linkages. They were a metre long and I chopped this much off and it improved the signal. So the length of your dipole aerial is important. The other night I thought it would be cool to use a stepper motor but A you need a lot more wires and B I put this shaft up through the centre of here which is why it's a mess it's covered in glue to hold this plastic to this shaft as soon as the motor turned on it killed the signal strength I had tried this motor here make sure it wasn't going to cause any interference but because I put this shaft bang in the middle of the signal and the ground that's it, it destroyed the signal and obviously with a stepper motor you need some sort of stepper motor driver and then this needed two or three signals from the microcontroller so I gave up with this and chose to use a servo I'll show you the code and I'll put a link to the code on GitHub and put a link in the show more I'm driving this regular RC servo off a pic 32 mz I'm using Microelectronica's PWM and it works really well. This rotates twice and it simply finds the strongest signal. I'll give you a demo. I forgot to say the whole assembly is sitting on a light tripod. So this antenna is driven by PWM and is reliant on the signal strength it finds as it rotates. So I can pick up the signal strength because I've got a Silicon Labs radio as you saw in the previous videos. But if you're into radio and you've got a quality tuner in your lounge, you could fit something like this in your loft, a simple servo, two sort of whip aerials, which as I say, radio control servo linkage, so cheap to buy, a couple of bits of plastic, some tripod or bit of wood, or even a chair up in a loft would do. As I say, if you've got a quality tuner, unless you can hack into it and pick up the signal strength, you could look at one of my other videos and simply control the servo with a potentiometer because not all stations have the same direction as I'll demonstrate. I'll move the aerial there, I'll turn the radio on, I'll have to turn off the speaker otherwise I'll get a copyright strike. I've just plugged it in, the MCU powered up and set the servo to this direction. There we go. Now it's a shame I've only got sort of a meter of coax, otherwise I would put this aerial in the loft. But having said that, it's only for this Silicon Labs radio, so I'm probably not going to keep it. Right, so it's picked up the maximum signal strength there, that, at that orientation. But so now, if I move the aerial, if I turn it round, Right, so you can see I've turned the aerial nearly 90 degrees. I'll unplug the board and plug it back in again and the aerial should still sit that direction when it's finished. And you can hear the servo is nice and quiet. I think this is something like a 15 kilo at one centimeter. So a servo, a bit of plastic, a couple of servo linkages and a small PIC microcontroller. You can make your own self-seeking antenna. Right, and that's roughly where it was before. It may be a few degrees more that direction. The next station is actually Heart FM and their scrolling text seems to work better with this setup. Notice from the other day, we've got signal strength of 53. 
I'll have to check the YouTube video to see what it was previously. I couldn't compare Capital to my previous video because I looked at Radio 2. So I've just reset this to Radio 2. Let's see what signal strength we get with the rotating dipole. bulb. And that's actually finished. 52 at position 9, which is that orientation. This is a section from my previous video. You can see on Radio 2, with the dipole fixed to the wall, I had a signal strength of 42. So it's come up by a factor of 10, but I'm yet to understand the received signal strength versus like microvolts a meter or dB level. So a rotating dipole aerial definitely works. It's stronger, but becomes directional. So stick it on a servo. Well, so this is the main. This is the PWM initialization. Microelectronica make it quite easy to set up. So you generally have to reconfigure what pin you want to use as a PWM, and specifically on the PIC32 MZ, they're not automatic. So the pin I'm using, RPA15 and OC4, is output compare for. You need to have a look at your own data sheet to figure out what pin you want here. Then so initializing the PWM, 50 hertz, channel 4, so PWM channel 4, dividing the prescaler on timer 2 by 64, that gave me the signal required to drive a servo. So the max duty toggle, 3700 and the minimum is 900. You can see these little bits here. When it reaches one end, the max turns off and the min turns on, so it just goes the other direction. And it does that twice, which is counted scan A and scan B. So when it's done it twice, it then uses this function down here, find max signal, which is here. And I've simply got, I don't know, 14, 15 ifs. So it just finds if the signal strength 29 is greater than maximum, then that sets the maximum at 29. And right down the bottom, if signal strength 0 is greater than maximum, then 0 position becomes the signal strength. And in case you're wondering, so there's lots of variables. It probably could be optimized, but lots of variables. So I've got the signal counter is the duty cycle divided by 100. So on this system, it would count from 9 to 27. So I just take the 9, and it counts from 0 to 27. That's how I did it. Anyway, as I say, I'll put the C file on GitHub and put a link in the show more. You're welcome to help yourself if you want to make a donation. If you want to take the C file and you want to make a donation, donate to coffee, the link is also in the show more. Hopefully it's given you an insight into making your own auto-seeking FM aerial. Thanks for watching.